Hello brothers and sisters, this is Cindy with Nuts of Hope. This is going to be video four of a long letter, the very last letter from what I understand from the letter that the Lord gave to Danielle Jesus in Georgia YouTube channel. She is a dear sister of mine. We're very close and we gather together a lot on the phone and pray and we talk about what the Lord's doing all the time. So, but anyway, listen to this firm warning. The bear will rise cries of war this is just to open doors all hell make makes a way for the king they will say from the sea will arise the one who seeks to bring tears to every eye do not fear i have a plan for it i who created all man there will be healing there there will be power for it is I who sends my holy fire. Satan will seek to devour. In me you will rest and sleep. Do not be weary of the night. I will come make things right. <clears throat> and that's going to be the end of that. And then I'll do the, one more video after this one. But anyway, I, I, I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, please listen to the Lord. If you live on the coastland, your homes are going to be crushed and dashed to pieces. You will not ever even get to see this event. It will happen so quickly if you stay. Many that are in big cities, lawlessness will be so bad that there will be murder. There will be tsunamis that make it into a lot of large cities. Um, the lawlessness will be so out of control that what little food is left in grocery stores once these events take place, the food in those grocery stores, you're lucky if it'll last three days on the shelf, if not off the shelf, in 24 hours. If you have not prepared, you are in danger. I just cannot stress to you enough, like the Lord says, He says uh, over here in the first video, take the money move set up and prepare for they do not care no help will come many on the run rushing waters come inland that's a tsunami that i've seen tsunamis that i've seen that are the size of mountains it's going to be the pole shift guys and he says uh you need to band band together so you can weather lights out he's saying that the power is going to go out my dear, oh, what a thrill for some who seek to kill. Strong, stronger in murder, buy canned food, water, and gather up your stuff and get to packing, move out to higher ground, or among the lost you will be found. I'm going to end this video for now. Please do not pay your house payments. Don't worry about that. It will all be destroyed if your home is on the coastland. If you're in large cities, your homes will be destroyed by war, lawlessness, looting, murder, um, just people on the rampage, and uh, mind control from uh, 5G, uh, possibly 6G, if they put that out there before we're able to get any kind of announcement and the power's down. They're looking to do many things, and I know you guys know these things. Please heed the Lord's warning. If you live in an apartment, mobile home, trailer house, whatever, and you can't move it, uh, obviously you can't move an apartment, but you know what I'm talking about. If you can't move a mobile home, you're going to have to leave it behind. Sell all that you can and get out. Sell your finest possessions or bring them with you if you have money. Bring your clothes, your food, your Bible, your gold, your silver, your finest possessions you can sell once you get here. There are safe havens in Tennessee, Georgia, and New York City. And then I am in Texas, Plantersville, Texas. You can come near to any of these areas. Um, or just get away from the coastlines for now and wait to hear more word. But you really need to get to a firm place and settle down and go ahead and find a job and live in a motel, campgrounds, RV, whatever you can do to survive. But we need to band together. Guys, I'm asking you to open your homes in these areas near Plantersville, Texas. If you live in this area and you have extra bedroom, garage space that you can turn into a dormitory to help these brothers and sisters please help me to help them they can get out and get jobs for now until the lord pours out finances 
They can help you with food and on your, in your bills. They can help with yard work. And we can have Bible studies in our homes and we can gather together uh, at the safe haven and start working together to get things going there. I love you. Please, let's band together. Email me if you have a home that you can open up some rooms or a dormitory in your garage. And uh, surely we can get some carpenters together to put up some sheetrock and make it more suitable to weather the heat or the cold in a garage. We can use bells of hay for their bedding. The Lord's already showed me that. It's inexpensive and, inexpensive, and it's movable. Um, and um, it could be put out to the fire quickly uh, if you know we end up with money for bedding and stuff like that. So, uh, or you can use it as a little camp area in your yard for a Bible study out in the backyard. You can use bells of hay to set up a church in your backyard where you can minister to each other on a daily basis. I love you guys. I'm going to let you go for now. Video 4 is coming.